hi guys how are you all doing in this video i'm gonna be talking about how you can improve seo of your single page modern web application so seo means your website should be rendered and ranked on search engines like google and also uh, nowadays we have social media that is highly used for uh, sharing your content so your content should be properly rendered on social media so in this video i'm going to be talking about three major things that you would require uh, in order to improve the seo of your website all right so let's talk about the first point you need to take care about for seo of your website so most of you have already know that first one is this meta tags needs to be added in your HTML. Make sure to keep watching until end of this video because the last two points are really important for SEO of modern web applications. So for meta tags, what you need to do is in your HTML, you just need to add few of the uh, points that needs to be added. This is the title description and the content. So this is not the constant in angular react view. You might be uh, changing it with the dynamic data, uh, apply the one way binding so that data gets updated whenever we are on a different page. Now, this is not just the meta tags that needs to be added. We have different mechanism of these meta tags that needs to be added in your HTML. For example, if your content needs to be shared among your social media, like the Facebook, then you ha should have add in the meta tags using og colon uh, keyword og colon title type url image let's say this is for the movie article blogs events according to that you need to update the content of your website like this so og colon title that needs to be added and uh, it has some recommendation i will be giving all these uh, links in the description of this video make sure you check this out and uh, if you want your content to be rendered properly uh, properly on twitter then uh, i'll give the link of this twitter developer website link uh, in the description of this video you might have different options that you might want to set up in your meta or html of your website so twitter colon cards twitter colon sites twitter colon site colon id and these needs to be added uh, in your html main html file of your websites right so there are multiple types of uh, meta tags that you would require for your content to be uh, rendered not just on search engines but also on social media right so these are really important right so i have hope that you have got the idea about adding the meta tags don't and never forget to add meta tags in your website if you want your website to be ranked next thing i want to talk about is the structured data testing tool I've got a website for giving you an example. So I've just right clicked and inspect and go to the elements tab. And here you can see there are a lot of scripts having types text slash uh, JavaScript uh, application slash ID plus JSON. Right. So here you can see an object with the updated content inside it and it has a type of organization. You can see there is an organization and uh, we have uh, the type of website we have the type of mobile application and uh, currently we don't have the type of an event so if i just click on it you will see another script has been generated and if i see its type its type is an event right so I'm not talking about how you can do it. It's the technical way of doing it. But just to let you know, these are important things for your website to be added uh, in your script. So what you can do is you can update the DOM dynamically using any framework or library uh, or even vanilla JavaScript and create a new script tag and append the current object of this event uh, inside it and what it will do is it will help a lot for your website to be rendered on your search engines not in the form of text but in the form of images if you give the url it will also show the image just like you might have seen on uh, uh, google search that the youtube videos also shows up the movies uh, thumbnails also appears up that's because uh, these objects gets rendered right 
so how you can test if your all the elements are recommended things are been added so if i go over here this is the google structure data tool and it provides us all the required properties that you must add in your script right this is for article if you want if you have a website for articles then you need to create a script of type application slash id plus json and these are all the properties that you must add right if you have the book of website website contains the book information course you have the event and currently i open up an event and this that's why it shows up uh, all the properties and these are all the required properties that you must add right so now i have this one if i just copy this and paste it over here what it will do is it will let us know if we successfully added all the properties that are recommended by google data testing tool so it's loading right so you can see that it has loaded up this event and it is showing me a name url start date when the event is gonna start when the end date is uh, the event is going to end this is the image description the location of the event offers what are the offers for the events price for the ticket of the event and uh, you can ignore the uh, warnings but you can't ignore the errors sometimes it shows the error if you miss the start date it's going to show you an error because start date is so important for your event to be rendered properly on your google search results in the form of images right so performer uh, for the event if we don't have a performer that's just a warning that's all right we can ignore it and leave it uh, we don't provide any value for the performer so this event uh, is configured properly in a best way so that it can render on the uh, search engine so i hope that you have got the idea make sure you add the script tag if you have uh, your website containing any of these recipe website movie website uh, you have the event website, articles, books, uh, uh, event. Uh, you can like check this out. Videos website. Like for video, you must have a few recommended properties. Just like YouTube shows the videos in the Google search, and you should add all the properties in your um, HTML file, right? So that was the second point. First one was the meta tags. Second one is the Google structure data testing tool. And the third one is the most important thing. And that is being followed for quite a few years now. And that is rendered your website from server side. So server side rendering, right? So server side rendering of, of your website so what it does is it renders the content of your website from the server side right so i hope i have opened up this url and if i right click and go to the view page source and it will help me understand whether this website has been rendered from server side or from the client side so if i go scroll down and this is the content of a website it contains nothing in fact you see that it contains quite some content and event but it's not being shown up over here it means it's not being rendered from the server side so it it will not allow allow us to render our rack over website on the search engines right but this one right and if i right click and view page source so I will let you guys know if I just scroll down. So you will see that this is the whole content that is being shown up of this page. So this page, this event page is being rendered from the server side. So this particular URL will keep itself to be ranked on the first page of your search engines or anywhere that depends upon how much search or interest people are having currently. Uh, so, but without the server side rendering, your website cannot uh, be rendered from the, uh, cannot be ranked on the search engine. So if you're using any framework of JavaScript like Angular, the server side rendering in Angular called Angular Universal. Just to let you know, the server side rendering also helps you to load the initial page of your website much quicker than the usual client side rendered page because the initial page load is rendered from the server side. So obviously it doesn't need to perform any processing from the client side. So this is the Angular Universal. It's still loading the content. And uh, this is for the Angular. If you are using Angular for React, 
uh, you can use Next.js, which is the framework and awesome framework for React that you can use for rendering the web apps from the server side. So Next.js gives you the best experience and feature production hybrid static server side rendering, right? So this helps you to perform the server side rendering if you're using React. And uh, Vue.js uh, will have its uh, own uh, mechanism of rendering server side. Even if you have a simple vanilla JavaScript website, you can still use the Node Express server for rendering your uh, website from the server side, right? Because the server side rendering is managed from the Node Express server. So you can see in uh, Angular, you have the ng universal express engine so Ang angular universal is using the express engine for rendering your website from server side even the other frameworks for react and view the express which is the framework of node is used for rendering server side so you can manually write the express script for rendering your website through server side right so just a quick uh, introduction these are the three important things that uh, uh, facilitates us if you, we are using the server side rendering so you can see facilitate web crawlers through search engine optimization. So you can see it really helps us for crawling your web pages through the search engines, right? It improves the performance on mobile and lowered powered devices, right? If you have the low processing speed of your device or mobile device, it will really help uh, your website to be rendered much quicker. Show the first page quickly with the first content full paint, right? You can check this out and uh, what is it's about it's I just explained you that it loads up uh, a different uh, things so there are some recommendations that if you are using server side rendering there can be some slightly changes required some standards you need to follow for writing server side rendered code so you need to plan when you start writing a code start building a website you need to first plan whether I'm gonna build a server side render app or I'm gonna build a client side render app. If you don't have such plan, then later on, you might have some difficulty in order to convert your client side render app into server side render app because that's really uh, mess up uh, the code. And you, if you're not following the standards of server side rendering, you might fall into a lot of uh, time taking changes that you would need to do, right? So make sure you check the guidelines if, you perf if you're performing the server side rendering because server side rendering is the most important thing nowadays uh, that you can uh, follow for improving the search engine uh, of uh, the performance of your website uh, and uh, also for speed up your initial load of your website, right? So first meta tag, second the Google structured data testing tool, the third most important one is the server side rendering of your website. So if I just right click, I, I'm just trying to check this out. So you can see this is the Next.js page. So Next.js website itself built using the concept of server side rendering. It's not the client side render. This whole content is being rendered from server side. This is the reason people will be able to like look into uh, the content of Next.js much quicker and at the top list of the search engines. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you like uh, this video, make sure you subscribe my channel, hit the like button and keep watching this channel. Uh, support me uh, because I'm, I'm going to be creating next video that is going to be really important. That's uh, about the Angular architecture for enterprise application, how you can architect your Angular app using the proper uh, best practices and state management system using Redux and I'm gonna be creating the series so make sure you subscribe my channel and share this video as much as as you can so thank you so much for watching my video